Hi. In this tutorial we will show a step-by-step -step approach to allow secure traffic through HTTPS protocol using a free certificate provided by the certificate authority Let's Encrypt. This tutorial covers the case of installing on a Linux server using the Ubuntu 20.4 distribution, and the Apache web server. However, it is possible that the steps in this tutorial will work on other similar platforms. But first we would like to ask you to leave your like to encourage us to produce more videos like this. And, if it is possible, subscribe to the channel. Before starting the installation you must ensure that the following prerequisites are in place. The first is that you ensure that the Apache server is installed and configured with a domain being accessed via HTTP on port 80, such as a domain like www.mysite.xyz. Also, if you have UFW firewall enabled, it must be set to allow HTTPS traffic. The second important prerequisite is that you have super user level server access via SSH. Given these prerequisites, we can move on to the next steps. As a first step, you need to install CertBot. CertBot is a free open source software tool to use Let's Encrypt certificates automatically on manually administered websites to enable HTTPS. CertBot is made by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, a non-profit organization based in San Francisco that advocates digital privacy, freedom of expression and innovation. To install CertBot you must have SnapD installed. If SnapD is not installed, run the following commands as a super user. sudo apt update. And then, sudo apt install SnapD. Before installing CertBot remove previously installed packages using the command sudo apt get remove certbot then install certbot using the command sudo certbot dash dash apache python 3 dash certbot dash apache before installing the certificate you also need to verify that your website's configuration file is correct in apache each site is configured as a separate virtual server called a virtual host, and described through configuration files. These files are stored in the directory. Slash etc. Slash Apache 2 slash sites dash available. And the file name is the same as the site name followed by dot conference. You should verify that the file has the entries for server name and server alias with your domain as shown. If not, you must edit and enter the entries. If you have edited the virtual host configuration file, run the following command to check if everything is okay. sudo apache2 ctl config test and restart apache using the command sudo system ctl reload apache2. After that you are able to install the certificate. Do this through the command sudo certbot dash dash apache. A question will appear for which domains the certificate should be installed. Type enter to install for everyone. Or run the previous command indicating on the command line the domains for which the certificate should be installed, as shown. Other questions will arise such as whether you want to direct all traffic, including HTTP, to the secure connection. Answer according to your preference. Finally, execute the command. sudo system ctl status certbot.timer to check if the certificate will automatically renew. So we come to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. Leave your like if you liked. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this.